Everybody, Big Mess, Mess of Branch Outdoors with your first episode of Creek Talk. August 3rd, 2024. We're going to get into a couple of wildlife things pertaining to fishing and hunting and things like that. But first and foremost, 25th happy birthday to our oldest son, Alex. I think he's in the air headed to Rome, Rome, Italy. That's where his job's taking him there. 25 years, very proud of you, son. We love you. Hope you have a great birthday. And uh, we'll see you here not uh, too terribly long. And with Madeline getting married in September out in Utah. So we've got, a, we've got a trip to take, surprisingly, next month as they start their journey as husband and wife. Everybody take time, wish them folks the best, wish Alex a happy birthday if you see him out there. If not, just do it in spirit. Secondly, just got through working out out here by the creek. Thought I'd take a moment and talk to you folks a little bit. We'll keep it short with a little bit of things going on. You might be able to hear the creek behind me. You know, self-recording out here. But uh, it's August, folks. It's hot, but we've been getting some rain. If you want to come to the area and fish, small creek game. Early morning, it's the coolest water temperatures. But I'm going to tell you, we're about five weeks away from really cooling off. So if you like to get into some speck fishing or brook trout, if you want to call it that, it's a great time, guys, middle of September to do some great wet wading. But that leads me to October, everybody's favorite time of the year. They think of delayed harvest. Well, this year, if you don't know, the Setcher Hatchery is going to go through a uh, rebuild. Everybody's up in the air about fish, fish stockings, what's going to happen, this, that, and the other. Well, I'm sure the state has a plan. If you want to know more about it, down in the comments, put Setzer Hatchery, and I can do an in-depth report of what's going on over there and let you folks know. So when you make your plans to come to Western North Carolina to fish, you'll know what your expectations are for sure. No doubt about that. If you like this, make sure you give a like. We really appreciate it, help our channel grow. If you have any questions, let us know as well. Right here is a creek, not too terribly far from the house. Uh, you know, it's got fish in it, folks. It's got rainbow brown trout. It's doable, you just gotta get here. That's for sure, no doubt about that. Thanks to everybody that's been watching all the other stuff. Uh, August 1st, the new wildlife regulations went into effect. If you've got the Go Outdoors NC app on your phone, if you go to regulations, you're going to see a new one there. Of course, it's got a black bear on it. You know, they dominate what happens in the hunting world for sure. But there's a few changes in there you need to be made aware of. Uh, I think there's a few uh, boundary changes when it comes to uh, some of the delayed harvest waters. So keep that in mind. If you do some hunting and things like that, your dates, small game dates, of course, your big game stuff turkey season dates, all that stuff's in there, folks. Make sure you go check that out. If you fish here and you got the app, go down to the little fish in the, in the bottom, click that thing. If you folks that like to brag about the size of fish you catch, that's perfectly fine. You can get a citation if you want to. Did you know in North Carolina that if you catch a 16 inch brook trout, you can get a citation? If you catch an 18 inch rainbow or brown, you can get a citation from the state of North Carolina. So if you visit North Carolina and you want that, or if you live here and that's important to you, you want a certificate to put on your wall, there you go, man, it's available. Not a whole lot of people know that. That's pretty cool. Cedar Cliff Project, they're doing the testing phase up there and that really affects that Tuckaseegee River watershed. You folks like to float, you like to come up and wade in the fall. Um, so far, so good. The lake's been holding at 90 some feet and should hopefully get the boat ramp opened up before too terribly long. Just want to give a shout out for, to Braden. He went to the lake yesterday. I was guiding with a couple of cohorts from the shop. We had a pretty good day on the water and he, uh, he actually went to the lake, took his fly rod, took some of the flies he tied and got onto, the, onto some fish with his papa there using a the fly rod. Uh, which is pretty cool, man, on the lake. We always think creek. We talk about creek talk. Uh, but, you know, these things can go all over the place too, man. Just whatever's, whatever's on my mind in the morning um, for sure. But uh, there you go. That's kind of all I've got for you today. 
look forward to seeing you folks in the future on a, who knows, maybe every couple days or something. Comment down below those sets or hatcher if you want to know more. It's kind of important, folks. If you want to fish with me, Big Mess, there's going to be a link down below how you can do that. You just got to ask for me personally. Other than that, say hi to all my other folks out there, Brady's Handmade Nets, nor-vice.com, and tuckflyshop.com, folks. We'll catch you on the next one.